Hi guys, welcome back to my private XVS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about this, the Great Calamity. So we have this daily bonus battle, and I can say it's kind of easy. But this, the Great Calamity, you need to clear it within three turns to get the maximum rewards. So let's see what you can do to clear that. So these are my party. Okay, I will explain what you need to do on the battle so yes let's begin and i can say the mvp for this battle is let's say legendary guardian auron because in fact the boss is weak against wind element and like you know that guardian auron is really strong on wind element okay and the second alternative is this star player titus like you know that titus has really powerful uh, super limit burst especially if you manage to make him into x plus 3 on the third turn you finally able to use his super limit burst which is yeah what you need to get all the rewards but even if you cannot use the uh, the super limit burst I can say that he is still powerful because his spiral cut is really powerful 200 times damage per cast and remember star player tried us also has huge fairy killer so yes he's gonna helpful and the second is this one uh, starlight elena and the reason i use her is because uh, yes like you know that she's really powerful after getting upgrade okay but yeah if you have better stardust ray chainer then yes use that character okay Basically, anyone who able to change Stardust with Stardust Ray, you can use even Loren because Loren Stardust Ray is quite powerful. And this Bulwark, Bulwark is one of the key character here. You may not have him, but you can replace him, let's say, with Warrior of Light Bards. Because the reason I use Bulwark is because he able to imbue uh, Wind Element and also imperil the Wind Resistance. And yes, basically another reason is for the fairy killer buff. Okay, so I I believe that if you have warrior of light, warrior of light parts, it's enough. But that means your DPS need to be stronger, and you may need to bring a different party than this because here Waka is simply a provoker with a break. Okay, if you don't have if you don't if you don't have bulwark then maybe you want to replace your waka with strong finisher to help you dealing damage okay uh, i'm gonna use this spirit reduce spirit and reduce defense and yes basically whatever remember he is also provoker with 100 percent physical evasion so if you don't want to use waka make sure you, you make your here i'm gonna i, I use Patrick make sure your Beatrix also act as a provoker and patient okay but i don't think you need to make her into efficient character okay because yeah basically on the first turn i'm gonna use this saintly protection reduce damage taken and cover magic this is gonna make her into this is gonna make her block the uh, magical attack aoe magical attack okay here okay like you can see that see the damage is quite high because yes see gravija and this gravija gonna be blocked by Beatrix. that's why yeah use this reduce damage uh, this silly protection because uh, if you don't use this then the gravija gonna deal so much damage from what i know okay so Yes, use Beatrix. You don't need to worry about limit burst because you can use her limit burst on the second turn. This is gonna help you to mitigate against the physical damage. Remember, you cannot break its attack and magic, so you really need strong damage mitigation. Okay, to be able to kind of survive. Uh, seventy-five percent, seventy-five percent general mitigation is already on, and basically now I simply to repeat. Okay. And basically, Bulwark is done here. Uh, he doesn't need to do anything. He can become your chainer next turn, but you don't need to. But yeah, let's yes, let's just use that, okay? 
to activate his triple cast I'm gonna use this uh, yes this this one pull work team team and let's simply use this again this one and waka waka also can become your chainer for starter three but yeah simply repeat the second turn okay see 32% okay star player Titus uh, SLB is active now like you can see that this gonna be really overkill because star player Titus uh, SLB is really powerful so for example here I'm gonna switch back my Beatrix to normal form and then triple second this one start a straight chain with my uh, Elena okay so tap 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 kaboom see 2 million and yes of course you cannot kill the enemy the sin spawn directly wait rolls see basically it's simply wait until star player Titus limit burst is ready so I can say that maybe this is one of the easiest because really guys star player Titus is insane I will show you his equipment uh, I know that I'm, I'm kind of veteran player so you may don't have uh, exact equipment but again I don't think you need to be this powerful to be able to beat that boss okay see my Titus only have 6800 even my friend have tied us with 7,000, 7.6,000, yeah, 7 point, 7 point, yeah, about 7,600, 7, okay, sorry guys, so it is his equipment, and yes, I use Yuna necklace, so let's remove, so yes, it does increase Titus attack, not like the wiki say, exclusive to Yuna, whatever, okay, so that's it, wait, 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 let me re-equip this, Tuna, what? Tuna, Yuna. Okay, Yuna Nicholas. So this is his equipment. Ability, Universe Eater, Spirit Killer. So make sure you have huge Spirit Killer. Maximum, 300%. Okay. So, yes, basically this. That's for Titus. Aim for the highest uh, attack you can. For Bulwark, before making this video, I don't even equip him with anything. Simply equip him with the Trust Master Reward and that's it, okay? No special equipment needed for him. And yes, this Waka is the thing that you need to pay attention first because I use him as a Provoker. I'm gonna, I equip him with two Mughal Charm. But let's say you use your Beatrix for Provoker, then you don't need this Mughal Charm because Beatrix can simply use that uh, Provoke attack. But yeah, it's all up to you. This is nice to do uh, to increase the draw attack and this for the evasion, the rest. And don't forget to use this because the enemy able to petrify and confuse you. Okay, so to make sure he absorb the, both the attack. Okay, basically you can equip this kind of thing on your backup chainer. So, like I said, if you if you don't have much, if you don't have powerful equipment like mine, then simply make your backup chainer into 100% provoker with this kind of equipment and bring a finisher to the battle. Okay, that's the tactic. And Beatrix, basically, this I gear her for faster limit burst fill rate and limit burst regen. That way. She able to use her limit burst on the second turn or even one turn. Okay, like you can see here, 12 limit bursts per turn and 450%. And that's really enough because she only needs 30 limit burst crystals to use her limit burst. For Elena here, see? Uh, yes, my Elena is also quite strong, but again, basically, she is a chainer, backup chainer, right? It's better, yeah. Simply make her into Provoker 2 and bring a finisher to battle. 
okay if you don't have uh, good equipment like mine okay try it so i think that's all you need to know thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy bravex vs god bye bye guys